Welcome. Today we are going to talk about uh, the reporting part, how you can customize your test results into the report. So basically QTP uh, supports a reporter object and that has different methods. So one of such methods is report event. At any particular step, if you want to report the step status as an event, so you can use this report event method and you are going to choose the status of that particular step, either you can pass it, that means what you expect and what actually happens, you both are same, you are going to say, okay, the script is passed, or you say, okay, the script is failed, something, there is a deviation between the expected and actual results. Or you can also put something like the done. That means if the particular transaction is done or you are to read some data from the database and you got the data correctly, then you say, okay, the process is done successfully. Or you can also put some warnings in your script saying that, okay, um, warning is nothing but you really don't want to fail your script, but you're going to put some warning in your message, say, for example, uh, you are trying to um, click on a button but that really stop your workflow because those are the optional things, right? The optional button or something. Then you can put that as a warning because it's trying to click on that button but that particular button is not enabled. So you are going to put in your warning messages saying that the op the the optional button is not enabled. Something like the warning is something you didn't really want to fail your script but you want to put some warning message in your scripts so that your script execution will continue. Whereas if you say fail, okay, then your script execution will stop there. So there are the different kinds of scenarios uh, how you want to send your results with different status. So we're going to look at how you can uh, mention this status so let's uh, create uh, a small script and then we customize the results using this reporter dot report event method so I'm going to create a script for this application So here, uh, just I want to put some checks, right? So you can insert uh, a checkpoint. If you're not sure what is the checkpoint that step, you can watch my video on the checkpoints. So I'm going to put some checkpoint to verify this login window title. That is a standard checkpoint. And then click OK. So you got this window, now you're going to hit OK button on this window. So that way you insert one checkpoint to verify the login window displayed. And now you go ahead and continue your scripting. And then you, you can also insert one more checkpoint for this bitmap, say insert. checkpoint and then bitmap checkpoint. So I'm going to um, click on top of this image and then click OK. So that's how the bitmap is captured. Click OK and we're going to click uh, OK button on this login window. Uh, 
and you can close this login reservation window and uh, stop uh, your scripting okay so this is how the script is recorded and now you are going to look at how you can customize your report say for example this is where you are going to verify the login window displayed or not right so you're going to put some if else conditions here oh, sorry I put the wrong place so let's go to this so you're going to put if and then this is the checkpoint you're going to do you're going to open bracket here and then end bracket close bracket and then put then statement right if then they are going to put now reporter is an object dot then it's going to give you the methods so you're going to select report event method and then now you're going to say each hit your space bar then it's going to give you four different status pass fail done and warning so if this particular checkpoint that means the login is displayed properly then you're going to say fair pass this particular step comma because there are the different arguments for this report event method the first argument is the status and the second argument is the step name you're going to put the step name is login and now we are going to put the details of your step so you're going to say login successful else you're going to do again the reporter dot report event method and this time you're going to put fail because login is not displayed that's why this checkpoint is failed and you want to put this result again the step is login but the details of the step is login failed then we're going to put end if that's how you can customize your results right and then say for example this is one more checkpoint that that's basically verify your image right so you can also customize your results here we're going to put if and then this is the checkpoint then again you're going to use the reporter object and then report event method but in this case you're going to use warning because it's not really stopping you to test your workflow though the image is not displayed properly still you can continue your script execution and then you can test the application right so that's where you want to put some warning message here saying that uh, flight image and then you're going to write your results saying that um, flight image not displayed properly on login window that's a warning and then else okay oh sorry here basically like this is MIC pass so because the checkpoint is passed the checkpoint is good that means it's a pass and then it says like flight image displayed properly whereas in the else statement you're going to put the warning reported dot report event now you're going to put MIC warning because else part contains that means this checkpoint is failed so now we are going to put MIC warning here and the step is again the flight image and now we're going to say the flight image not displayed 
properly on login window. Now you're going to put endif. So this way you're going to use uh, the pass or fail or the warning kind of status for the steps. And let's try to run this script. Because in this case, it always works because the flight image and everything is good. But in case if the flight image is not displayed, then it's going to put simply warning, but your script execution will continue further. Okay, so that's how the script executed successfully and now we are going to look at the results. Okay, so these are the results and now we're going to expand the results and look at what kind of report it generates. So this is the login part and then you see now um, this, is the, this is the step and then it's going to write the custom results into your report, say login successful. And also it's going to write for the bitmap so flight image displayed properly on the login window. So this way you can um, customize your results using this reporter object and report event method. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this uh, video and then keep watch my videos. I'm going to post some more videos on some advanced topics. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.